So now you hear from Addicted Magazine with Dear Rouge. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so we have Danielle and Drew. Welcome to Toronto yet again. I know Yay. you guys have been here a lot. So it's CMW now. How have you guys been finding this festival? We played it before. Yeah, I mean every time we play it, it's different because it's lucky for us. We've just kind of grown mm -hmm. uh, in the last three years. So our first time here, we mm -hmm. played at the Annex Rec Room, nice. and there was like ten people there. <laughs> and then the next year, we played at the Opera House, mm -hmm. opening for, opening Congo. for the Congo. Wow! And then this year, um, we're doing the Universal um, Showcase. Nice. And, and we had the radio award, so it's been really cool to just see and um, sort of the opportunities unfolding. Mm -hmm. uh, and we love being here. We love seeing other bands. Yeah. And, uh, also, kind of growing and mm -hmm. having these same experiences. It's awesome. Absolutely. It's a, great, it's a really cool event. It's a really really fun festival, and I like that it's it's so big on breaking out new bands. So you said that you played it three years ago. Is that kind of when you guys started out, like just kind of getting into the indie music scene? That was our first tour. Really? Our first tour. Mm -hmm. Wow. 2013. Mm -hmm. Out to CMW. That's amazing. And uh, we were, you know, we were running around and I, the first time we were here was so fun because we just hop around from show to show. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I experienced that. Yeah. That kind of festival that is, you know, in venue. Mm -hmm. And you go to a sense, it was awesome. And yeah. The second time, like a year ago, right now, we were just going through um, talks with labels mm -hmm. who's going to release our album, yeah. um, managers, and it was kind of really exciting time for us because we were like, oh wow. Like, and then, then this year we're kind of established and promoting uh -huh. our album. So. And playing bigger and bigger venues as you guys <laughs> go. So you guys are from uh, Red Deer, Alberta, right? I'm from Red Deer, Drew's a Vancouver boy, or a BC boy. Oh, cool. And that's where the name came from, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were like trying to come up with something really original. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, band names are hard. There's so many <laughs> bands named yeah. the same thing. There too. Are. Sometimes they're like, you know, I don't even want to give examples. Yeah. I'll hurt someone's feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we're like, oh, we should pick a name that like you go online and there's no one using it. Yeah. And it's yeah, and then, yeah it's just it, it happened that way. And <laughs> it's a fun little play on words too because, you know, obviously it kind of goes back to your heritage a little bit and, mm -hmm. you know, it's it sounds really, really fun Thanks. too. It's got kind of a sexy vibe. I remember when I first heard you guys on the radio. I think it was Indie 88, shout out. And uh, it was I Heard I Had, and it was like, oh, Dear Rouge. And immediately I like went on Twitter and like found you guys, cool. and like yeah, went on RDO cool. and found all the music. And you're right, it was really easy to find you guys because your name is really yeah, unique that good, way. Yeah, good, good. That's, awesome. That's great, so our plan worked. It really <laughs> did. So uh, I guess going back to the music, I Heard I Had, that was your first major radio single. Mm -hmm. um, you know, was that kind of a little bit deeper into your career in terms of songwriting? Like, is that... You know, just the one that no. broke you, or where is that kind of in the it's, process it's of your music? It's all fresh for us as Dear Rouge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been doing music for a long time. Right. And, and so we've always been in bands and, and have enjoyed it since a young age. Mm -hmm. But um, that was part of the first, like maybe the second batch of songs. We oh, did wow. a few EPs. Mm -hmm. Just as that's how we launched, is yeah. we launched with an EP. Yeah. Um, and then, but it was, you know, the first batch of our album. And awesome. That's a song that we thought would be good for radio and we were working with radio promoters at the time. And you were right. <laughs> they were right. They I were right. More than us. I was always excited about that song, but we kind of had, we didn't do, we just didn't know. I don't yeah. think you ever know, like you talk to a lot of bands and you're like, I can't pick singles. Yeah, it's like, hey, I pick my, we end up picking your favorite song. Yeah. And then, well, and you have 11 story. songs. It's like having 11 children. <laughs> you have to send one out to represent all, all the 11. family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's make sure true. he's not too tall or <laughs> short. Or yeah, too. or like off-putting to yeah. certain people. Yeah. That's got to be really hard, actually, kind of picking, because like you said, you've got your favorites and the you know what you were passionate about writing, passionate about recording, but you've got to think of so many different things, like your broader audience and the mm -hmm. longevity of it, and also what other little kind of tidbits you guys have in the background that you want to release later. Yeah. What is that process like, you know, picking the child and working <laughs> through it, and that's, do you have that kind of back catalog that you... Well, that's <laughs> where we, we're grateful for the music industry and the business and our team. Right. We're surrounded by a great team that can lead us on the business end mm -hmm. and for us we just focused on writing songs and mm -hmm. getting That's into awesome. the music and 
we we sign off on it. Like mm-hmm. obviously, you know, they we we all work together. We give our suggestions, but you know, we just we want to make sure that we record the songs we like and mm-hmm. make sure they get on the album, right? So it's kind of you know we well, wrote all the songs and they pick one that's a single. We should be proud of it because we did it. That's you know? awesome. Well, that's great because you're focusing so much more on the art than the business side of it, and I think that that's a lot of the struggle that especially in the indie music industry when people are really trying to break out on their own. Mm-hmm. It's you know where do I put my energy and effort, and it's great to to hear about a band that is still relatively indie, like you guys are still really fresh, fresh, but have had that opportunity to really focus on the art and, and the beauty of that. That's awesome. Thank you. So let's talk about the new record, which I adore, okay. Black to Gold. So, so it's really, I just love the different kind of sounds and vibes of it, and you know, there's so many different types of music folded into, you know, the overall, you know, vibe of the album. How did that kind of come about? Well, Drew and I are very different in our uh, taste, but we have like a lot of similarities, but um, it's weird, actually. I like listening to popular, mm-hmm. less like crazy music, and Drew likes listening to like very like, well, all kinds of stuff, but abstract. Anyways, my point is <laughs> our styles and the differences in our styles mm-hmm. kind of like just met together. Mm-hmm. We pulled from that, and and we didn't really like hold each other back in that way. Mm-hmm. We were just like, if you like that, let's go with it. Like, yeah. let's just go with like. We weren't like this isn't our style. We mm-hmm. didn't do it. We just kind of made it our style, and that's awesome. we were I trying hate, to put I, it in a box. Yeah, that's the thing. It's mm-hmm. like I hate when you're like it's like we're sitting down to create something, mm-hmm. and if we think about all the rules before we create something, it's so difficult, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not, and it's so not we wrote, we, we, there was a whole bunch of songs that didn't even get on the album that mm-hmm. were even more diverse. Yeah. So we kind of felt them together, but mm-hmm. we also were, at this point, when we created the album, was, we're entirely independent. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it was just us making music. Yeah. And we were sincere. We didn't even know I Heard a Had was going to do what it did to get us where oh, we are. Yeah. So it was, it's exciting because we released <laughs> the album and it's something that we made before we knew um, where you'd end up kind of thing. Yeah, totally. That's amazing. No, so it is very sincere and I hope I that, that we can maintain that sincerity going forth even though we're working with um, bigger people and bigger people on the business side. Well I think too like in the end you guys are the heart of this music and you're the heart of the band so no matter what the talent and the work is going to come from you guys so I think if you continue to have that philosophy and that inner sincerity that that's never going to get lost and that's something that's really wonderful about the Canadian music industry, at least because you do see these bands that are having a lot of fun and working a lot. Here we Housekeeping? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah, that's my yeah. Hi. Hi. Like Guerrilla journalism. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, we're in a hotel. Yes. <laughs> it's going to happen either way. Um, but yeah, like it's just one of those things where in Canadian music, there's a lot of that grassroots, even when you kind of get to that larger level, and there's always going to be that respect for the the artists and the creation of it. I don't think that that commercialism is as infused and as inevitable as it can be in other parts of the world and, mm-hmm. and different parts of the music industry. Yeah. So we you guys are in a great place to be making music and making the great music that you're making. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's true. It is true. Yeah, we were talking about it the other day, and that like with social media and mm-hmm. everything that people are creating now, there there's sincerity in that because mm-hmm. they have uh, their own personal life, yep. and they have and people can follow every part of their career. Well, that's it. And you can't really, you, you know, just fake speaking. it on stage and be someone totally different. Well, that's you it. You can put on a show, but you still have to be, like, very genuine. Right? You do, absolutely. And that's a really interesting point. How have you found that social media has, you know, helped you guys, hindered you guys, been, you know, a tool to your success? What's it done for you and, you know, this kind of brave new world of technology? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard because <laughs> first time, you know, anyone was talking to us, giving us advice, like, you need to tweet more, you need to Instagram. <laughs> and it's really hard to, like, live that way through your phone and you have to, like, get used to it. I work, hate right? it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Trust me. Imagine if you're a solo it. artist, though. Yeah. And you had to do it oh, all yeah. on your own. You'd probably like, have someone else that was yeah, on your that behalf. That helps you. Do you guys run your accounts yourselves? Yeah, yeah we do. That's and amazing. We do because it's, you know, it's like a, it is our mouth. Yeah. So, you know, we will have we'll have mm. our, our management or, you know, people on our team or even band members like send us a photo to post mm-hmm. and then we kinda write about it. Mm-hmm. Just so that it's always us, you know. That's mm-hmm. awesome. And I think that's really key too is like cultivating that voice and having that connection with with fans. It's a really interesting time for music and just for 
you know, any kind of a, an artistic sphere that people can have that direct connection to fans and fans can really feel that they're getting to know artists and getting that glimpse into their lives and it does change music but I think it makes it even more interesting too. I think it's great. I think it's a great tool and like anything if you if you overkill with it in your own life it can like can make your life out really not balanced. Mm -hmm. But if you use it and it is a tool then you, and then it's awesome. Yeah, it's absolutely. like it's like you can text your favorite Bands, and mm -hmm. maybe they'll, it's like a text, it's like maybe they'll text you back, <laughs> but it's a treat. Yeah. yeah it's not a treat. It feels it's like, like you're like in contact with them. Like it's funny because Twitter seems a lot more noisy in terms of social media. Mm -hmm. Like I don't really like maybe look at the feed where like Instagram, it's just so easy to just look at it a is. few people that you like, but yeah. with Twitter the cool thing is if you want to engage with someone. You can. Yeah, and most, most nowadays, you know, like like especially Canadian artists, if you follow mm -hmm. them, they'll follow you back or yeah. tweet them. Like they'll get in touch you with you. Personal message mm -hmm. them and, yeah. and say how's it going. And you yeah, know, you come on. I did that the other day. We don't even know them at all. Yeah, but we um, have seen them around and heard their new single. And I was oh, like, okay, great, great new single. Mm -hmm. They yeah. favorited it. Uh, you come on. Oh yeah, the new single's awesome. That's awesome. I love seeing that interaction just with artists that I love with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, like when someone goes on tour, it's like you see them tweeting back and forth. Yeah, it's cool. And I just think that that's really fun. It's a great time to be a fan, I think, for music yeah, too, because you yeah. get that extra. It's like you know, you send out a fan letter, but you can actually get a response. Or, yeah. You know, know that it's like a 140 character fan letter, but yeah. you know, you get which, like a which favorite. Which artists are yeah. thankful for? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like long, right? Yeah. Well, we should we should get back into fan letters though. Yeah. Sit down. Handwritten note. Yeah. Like, it's so cute. Girls that were like kissing the paper. Spraying perfume. I sent more than one letter to new kids on the block, let me tell That's you. So I feel like everyone's kind of gone through that. He was a JTC fan. Oh, yeah. I remember him back in the day. I always thought he was a little short, so I couldn't he was a get into short, that. But I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, God, what else do I want to ask you guys? I'm so excited to be here. You yeah, guys are honestly one of my favorites. Thank so you. what's next on the dock for you guys? You've got this amazing new album. You've been touring. You're here at Canadian Music Week. What is the next big thing coming your way? Yeah, festivals. Yeah. Uh, yes, festival season is upon shows. us. Yeah, festival season. We love festival season. Yeah. Well, because we're, we want to be good fans, too. And mm -hmm. we love these certain bands playing yeah. at fest these festivals. Mm -hmm. like, we're like we're gonna be in the front row for like Saint Vincent. Well, and it's sunny. I was gonna say it's the perfect time of year for music and enjoying music outside. And you play your set, mm -hmm. and you either get to watch bands before or after, mm -hmm. depending on the festival. And then you, yeah, you can be there. Some festivals do like way home in uh, out in Ontario. We're gonna be mm -hmm. we're gonna be there all weekend just because the Amazing. lift is so great. Oh yeah, we're gonna be hanging oh, out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll be front and center for Saint Vincent. <laughs> Amazing. Center. She's and, so cool. uh, oh yeah, my friend went to high school with her actually. No they way. were in choir together, yeah. And That's she's awesome. just like, she was really awesome, but I feel like I have a better voice than her. And I'm like, well, you didn't meet David Byrne and <laughs> yeah, make yeah. a record with him. Next life, yeah. maybe. Oh, really? <laughs> so well, random. Well, she's awesome for like guitar and, and, mm -hmm. and songwriting. Too. Yeah. yeah, oh, she's amazing. Yeah, she's awesome. For sure. Um, That's so funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have a better voice. <laughs> and I've heard her sing, and I'm like, you're right, but yeah, it's that whole full service mm -hmm. kind of a thing, right? Yeah, Where you're putting together everything. Yeah, yeah so, and so it's like, we're stoked for that. Also, the awesome. dates are like paced a bit. Yeah. Because you go weekend to weekend. You can kind of take so it easy a little we're bit. We're doing a few, a little bit in June, but then Ju July and August, like really easy. Mm. We're in, we're talking about a black to gold tour. Awesome. We've, we've been fortunate yeah. enough to, That'd um, be so good. to yeah. uh, open for some great bands mm -hmm. over the last year, but I think we have to do a tour on our own. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and especially do a lot of people, you know, we just played a show last night mm -hmm. and it was our first show since we released the album. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that people were singing the songs that weren't singles. Oh yeah. For the first time. Mm -hmm. So there was, you know, there's one song we like to play live, but nobody's heard it until mm -hmm. the album came out. So, and they're That'll finally really catching fun. on. See, that just yeah. goes to show the strength of that album. Like, you can listen to that thing back to front, like, mix it up over. I love it. I flew to Los Angeles, and it was my soundtrack oh. the entire time on the flight. That's when I actually wrote my review. I'm like, this album is amazing. It's the only thing that's making this flight, like, bare oh, more right now. Thank it's you. so great. That's so, um, so that's awesome. You guys, what other festivals are you going to be playing besides Way Home? Uh, we're doing Squamish out in BC. Nice. Huge, um, huge lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, just announced as on our way here was Burlington Sound of Music. Oh, cool. And that's a free festival, I think, yeah. too. So you get, yeah, you're going to get a lot out. of Which fans coming out. Yeah. 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 And then uh, Ottawa Blues. Nice. That's and, a good um, one. Mm -hmm. uh, some other, like, smaller ones mm -hmm. in between. Uh, 
the WTF Festival. Oh, I don't know that one. Um, it's, we're doing a day, it's Headley, like, White Sucks. USA. Oh, fun. Like that kind of cool Canadian pop rock type yeah, thing. So yeah, dance rock. party. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah it'd be fun to, like, to play with those guys, but mm-hmm. they're not at a lot of the other festivals. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and then, um, oh, we have a festival in Milwaukee. Oh, wow. Some Canada Day stuff, like in Calgary. Nice. You know, kind of, you, doing you see the summer. We're not doing Sam because we're doing the Canada Day thing. Oh, cool. The Canada Day is fun because yeah. you play your set, mm. and no matter how big you are or where you are, there's a celebration with fireworks after that. <laughs> and everyone's like, we <laughs> love our country. And who doesn't love yeah. fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Everyone should love fireworks. That's fantastic. Well, I always wrap my interviews uh, um, up by talking about uh, why my magazine's called Addicted. Um, we would love to highlight those addictions that fuel you and that you're passionate about. Like for instance, I'm addicted to music. I can't live without it. It's the reason why I started doing what I do. So I love to ask people that I chat with, what are your kind of positive, exciting addictions that make you who you are and you know the things that you love? Yeah, that's a good cool. question. They can also be silly too. I know that was kind of, <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> deep. No, we should have Tara separately. Yeah. Yeah, you go first. Um, <laughs> I would say that I am addicted to um, nature. Oh wow! I'm not like well, BC guy yeah, for we're, sure. We're not <laughs> BC, but you know, we we live in the city, and mm-hmm. we're in in the music industry. You're like in all the cities, so any chance we get out of the city, mm-hmm. it's like really refreshing. We wrote a lot of the albums nice um, out at a family cabin, mm-hmm. and it just gave us this like peacefulness and space. And wow. you know, next week we're writing out um, by Niagara Falls in mm-hmm. this cottage, and we get to be there all week. And kind of, you know, nature has a way of, of separating me. I'm addicted yeah. to that, like, whole. Wow. Know? But then again, I'm not like a, you know, like extreme hiker <laughs> or, or, or nature. Oh, boy, yeah. Like, you, but are, I just you're pretty, you like hiking? Yeah. Well, yeah. And there's beautiful places to hike well, around Vancouver and stuff, too, so you can't well, help it. Well, I told A hike is just an extreme walk. Like, yeah. yeah, but I was talking to someone else, and they're like, oh, yeah, I love trekking. I'm like, oh, trekking different than hiking? And I was like, I just love, like, we did it, Danielle and I did this, like, 11,000. Hike. Oh, 11,000 wow. feet. Yeah, it was like high, so the altitude Above is big enough, but it's still a day hike. Yeah. But then I was talking to this lady, and she's like, oh, oh yeah, I only do only three plus days hikes. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's like that's where you go to trekking. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyways, that's I'm addicted adventure. to the nature and the peacefulness that it brings. That's wonderful. And you? Well, oh, I would say, I, I, it's, it's really obvious, but... <laughs> I would say music too, but mm-hmm. I think it's more so, I mean, I love music and it's in a separate thing, but I really, really love um, people coming together mm-hmm. for an event mm-hmm. that's like based around like art or positive mm-hmm. or something just that makes people come together mm-hmm. and be on the same page. Yeah. I would even say that about like sporting events mm-hmm. or like just things that people are so like in one accord, mm-hmm. like doing something amazing together. Yeah, that energy that I comes love, out of it. That's I really love cool. that, and it is. There's nothing like being a part of that, and I just I feel like I would miss it so much if I if I couldn't be a part of those kinds of things. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Well, yeah. thanks very much for chatting with me today, guys. Thank it's you. been really really yeah, fun, and I'm excited you. to see you guys live again. You put on an amazing show. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.